Welcome to the Wordless Library. We're here at Seeger Gray Gallery in Mill Valley, California, where artist Lisa Koken, right here, um, has transformed our Gallery 3 space into a magical world of these wonderful book objects made of copper and aluminum. I started the Wordless Library in the middle of 2020. I got copper, which is my favorite metal, and I got aluminum, and I put them in my very old, beat-up Kenmore sewing machine from 1975, and I just started stitching, mostly stitchless stitching. And books hold a special place for you, don't they? Yes, they do. I have made so many different series of books um, in all, every conceivable form. I've done altered books, I've done book objects that are you know, sculpture, not meant to be read, not even openable. You know, I've, I've done books made out of fabric. It made perfect sense to try to use this metal as though it were fabric and stitch it on a sewing machine. And in these pieces, um, I was very concerned with the edges and doing this reductive thing where I start with a solid piece of copper and, you know, I start puncturing it with the machine and just seeing what patterns emerge. It's not premeditated. These two in particular, they almost look like they've been knitted or crocheted. They're so, there's so much air and space in it. Yes, it they're like lace. I kind of think of them as like lace, yeah. which I also really love and have used in my work. Um, so for these, I, I just really sewed the hell out of them. <laughs> I just punctured away and there was yeah. this, you know, very, um, this fragile point beyond which the whole thing was going to fall apart if I didn't, if yeah. I weren't careful. Yeah. Um, but and so that happened actually several times. And then if you can see that there's some wire here, I actually had to mend. I had to go back in in several of these pieces and mend it so that it would not fall apart. Then it becomes really even more like cloth. Exactly. Yeah. I was really pleased to see these books, Book of Accountability one and two, because they harken back to your last show with the gallery where you included a lot of shredded money. Mm -hmm. And so I had a few pieces of shredded money left over after that series um, and I decided to incorporate them. Uh, I thought that the greenish color and the material went really well with the copper. Yeah. So this piece has rolled money, it's like strips of money rolled on wire and this is the white, I waxed some of the white areas oh, of, really? of dollar bills, yes, and That's stitched them in with wire. So I devised something called the joy of limitations uh -huh. for my students, and it's something that I do in my own practice, which is only use a few basic materials. That really works for me, like just limiting the materials and seeing what I can do with just a very few materials right. and how I can make them speak. Thanks so much, Lisa, for coming and explaining these works to us. Um, this exhibition, the Wordless Library, is up through, through October 3rd at Cedar Gray Gallery in Mill Valley. We hope you'll come and experience it for yourself. It really is a wonderful group of works.